This is a real quick reminder of how to evaluate or complete a table when you have an exponential function. So we have y equals 2 times 3 to the power of x. So the first thing you want to notice is that your starting value is the 2 that's in the a position. So I'm going to put my 2 in the spot where x is 0. So my first point is where uh, the y-intercept would be. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is plug in your exponents one at a time into your equation and then solve it. So you can see we replaced the x up here with the number 1, okay, because that's my next number in my table. Okay, so 2 times 3 to the 1 is just 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so then I put 6 as my next spot in my table right here. Now we're going to figure out what 2 is by replacing the x with a 2 and then solving it again. So y equals 2 times 3 to the power of 2. So 2 times 9 because 3 squared turns into a 9 and then 2 times 9 is going to give you 18. So then we put 18 into our table. Okay, so one thing I want you to notice is there's another way to do this. That 3 is our multiplier. It tells us how to grow. So you could just start from your starting value of 2, multiply it times 3, and see that it turns into a 6, and then you're going to do it again. So 6 times 3 is going to become 18. So if you're not real comfortable with plugging in and using your exponents, you can always use the uh, pattern that is built. Okay, now we need to do the negatives. So we're going to work our pattern backwards, but I want to remind you how to use the negative exponent feature of your equation. So we have y equals 2 times 3 to the power of negative 1. Negative exponents will flip the base over, so my 3 becomes 1 third to the power of positive 1, which is just 1 third. So then we have 2 times 1 third, which is 2 over 3. So we're going to take that 2 over 3 and we're going to plug it into our table. So when x is negative 1, y ends up being 2 over 3. Okay, so our last one is negative 2, so we're going to start with our basic equation again, 2 times 3 to the power of negative 2. So we're just replacing our x value, so this x gets replaced with this number for x, and we're going to do the same function that we did over here with the negative 1. So the negative in your exponent takes your 3 and it flips the base over. So you end up with y equals 2 times 1 over 3 squared. So notice there's no more negative sign in our exponent. Then we're going to square the negative, the 1 over 3, excuse me. That becomes 2 times 1 over 9 because 1 times 1 is 1 and 3 times 3 is 9. And then we're going to do our last little step here, and you're going to get 2 times 1, which is 2. And then the bottom of the 2 is just a 1, so 1 times 9 is 9. So basically 2 times 1 over 9 becomes 2 over 9. We take our 2 over 9, we put it into our table, and we're done.